What's up everyone? My name's Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gilmore Swins. Today we are going to show you how we anchor our boat. It might seem straightforward, but we figure it's a nice video to add for you guys. So We're how gonna... to anchor on a fishing spot. Yes, the, uh, yes, it's how to anchor on your fishing spot. How to get exactly where you want to be so that you're not, your spot's not here and you're not all the way over there in Timbuktu or wherever you want to be. You want to be at your spot and you want your baits drifting back to your spot. So today's video, we're kind of going to show you the details on how we do it to make sure that we're close to our spot and we get the bite. We're showing you our anchor. This is our anchor setup. We keep our anchor in a basket. This is our gravel anchor. As you can see, this anchor has 15 feet of chain, and we our anchor is set up to be a trip anchor. If you want to see the details on how to do a trip anchor, how to rig that, we have already done that video. It's actually on our how to pull an anchor video, so that we can link that for you guys in the description box. But this is our anchor. You want to see the details on our anchor go ahead and watch that video today's video is going to be about anchoring in general for the sake of this video we're just going to create a fishing spot for you so check the screen out okay i'm just going to say that this is my fishing spot i'm going to hit mark i'm going to call it fish how about that we probably already have a spot called that nope we don't wow we don't okay so fish is my fishing spot there we go now, we are sitting in neutral. The important part is to get on your fishing spot before you anchor. So we're sitting, we're currently sitting on our fishing spot. I put the boat in neutral. Now is a perfect time to throw your chum over. Put your chum ring over the side, put your chum in the chum ring, and as you're drifting, you're letting chum out and you're telling the fish where you are. Even sometimes the fish will start to come to you even before you're anchored, and that's great. This gives them time to start eating and get familiar with where the food source is. Maybe rig a rod or something. Give it a solid five, six, up to 10 minutes while you find your drift. Exactly, so what we're gonna do is we had our fishing spot marked and we said, okay, I'm gonna drive to my fishing spot and I'm gonna stop on the spot. You're going to stop on the spot and that's where you want to start catching your drift. You don't want to start catching your drift way off the spot, things get complicated. Go to your spot, stop on the spot, start catching your drift. Five minutes, ten minutes, throw your rod, put your chum out, do something. And we're just going to wait. And as you can look at our screen right now, clearly this line right there, that little like divot is where we stopped. And that's our drift. So we're catching a nice steady drift. And we're just going to do this for another minute or so as we catch our drift. We can start focusing on getting our anchor set up, making sure it's ready. Our anchor is already set up and ready to go. But you just wanna have a solid drift before you get started. Another good thing you could do while you're catching your drift is get your anchor ready. So we're gonna start by taking it out of the basket. You don't wanna just throw it from the basket because it could be all knotted in there. So we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna take out probably around 100 feet of line because I have it marked off for me at 100 feet. And, and this I'm, is a great trick right here, here, it's not there. We mark our anchor line every 50 feet, so that's 50 feet with electrical tape. That's a great trick to know how much line you have out. It takes the guesswork out of it. You know when you're pulling it in how much is left. You know when you're letting out how much you've let out. Almost there. And there's our 100 foot mark. Two black lines, just like that. So we know that our anchor rope is laid out nice and pretty and we're not going to be in knots and twist it up and now that we've done all that let's go check and see what happened with our drift. You can see that this is our fishing spot and our drift has been on an angle this way in this direction and so what we want to do is we want to pull we're going to turn our boat around we're going to drive all the way up our line and then past our fishing spot in the same exact angle and direction as our line. The idea is we'll turn the boat around we're going to drive to our spot Oh look, there's our spot. Then we're gonna keep going past our spot and we'll throw the anchor somewhere around here. Once we throw the anchor, the idea is that the current and the drift is gonna take us back right here and stop us exactly on our spot. So you either wanna be stopped on your spot or in front of your spot. You really don't wanna be stopped behind your fishing spot because you know the current's gonna be taking your baits this way. So let's say you're anchored here and the current's gonna take your bait perfectly to your spot. You just don't wanna be stopped back here or back here and you're way past your spot. You want to be in front of it 
or on it. You never know, maybe you do stop here and you find a new fishing spot where the fishing's good, but if you really, really want to be right on your spot, stop in front of it so that your baits and your chum so it goes right back to your fish. I'm gonna click back on my fishing spot. There we go. <laughs> I can see you missing it. So go to, it's really hard to do from behind the screen. So that's the direction you do if for some reason you were out here ignore the purple line look at the black line right here that was your drift that's what we're focusing on but we can go ahead and look and see we are 627 feet away from our spot so we have to drive 600 feet up to our spot and we can use that number right here 6 640 and once we get to our spot that number will zero out and drive past it and you want it to say 100 feet 200 feet in the 100 to 200 foot range so you're gonna drive up your spot and past it that number will say 100 to 200 feet and that's a good spot to go ahead and throw your anchor depending on water depth and a lot of different variables but that's a good depth or a good distance to go from yeah guys something to remember is the deeper water you're in is the further you want to be from your spot because there's going to be a lot of scope in your line so if you're fishing in 100 feet of water you're going to want to be 200 feet past your spot before you throw the anchor. If you're fishing in 20, 100 is perfectly fine. It's kind of a little bit of um, some, some experience will give you that knowledge. You'll know your fishing spot. If the current's super strong, you're gonna need to go further past it because you're gonna drift back really fast. And guys, something else is don't be afraid to get your drift, anchor, screw it up, that didn't work, pull it again. I've done it before, we've done it on charters, guys. We make mistakes all the time. It's just, it's, the conditions are changing all the time. One, earlier this morning, we had a north wind. Now that we're getting towards the end of the day, we're kind of having an east wind. So the currents are always changing, so don't be afraid to screw up and redo it. It's time to start driving up my line. I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what I'm doing. Put my boat in gear. I'm gonna drive up that black line making our turn and you're gonna watch this number right here on the top of the screen get lower as I get closer to our spot. I'm driving up to my fishing spot. This number right here is going to get smaller. 658, 640, 630. And as I get to my spot, that number is going to shrink. And once I get all the way to my spot, it's gonna zero out. Once it hits zero, I wanna go 100 to 200 feet past it. Today we're anchoring at 18 feet of water. I could probably get away with going 50, 75 feet past it. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna go 100 feet past it and I'm gonna tell Emily to throw it when I'm ready. Look at that top number dropping down to 50, 40, 30, 16, 12. We just hit it. Now we're gonna start going, now the number's gonna go up. 30, 40, 50. So I'm going past my spot. That number's now at 70, 80. Here. I'm going to stop the boat, tell Emily to go ahead and grab the anchor. Okay, I'm telling Emily, grab the anchor. Stopping the boat, slowing it down, I'm putting the boat in reverse just to slow it down. You can go ahead and toss the anchor. Just like that. That whole process, once we passed our spot, I took the boat out of gear, I stopped the boat. We ended up 150 feet past our spot. But because I made sure that I followed my current line and my drift going the opposite direction of my spot, I knew that we were gonna be okay. So Emily is up at the bow now. With the anchor line, she is going to sit up there until I tell her when to tie it off. My number right here is shrinking, 127, 126, 123. There's not a lot of current today. But as you can see, this was my drift line. I tried my best to match it. That was the line that I went up past my spot. And you can see, I'm about, I'm drifting right back towards it, just like that. So this was my original drift that I caught, and that was my line that I drove up past it, and you want these two lines to match as best as you can. We're 100 feet, 98 feet, 97 feet. I'm getting closer to my fishing spot. Once this number hits around 50 feet, I'll tell Emily to go ahead and tie us off. That's gonna be a good spot, a good distance to be away from our fishing spot, and give some time for the anchor to really set. That number's at 50 feet, now is a good time to tell Emily, go ahead and tie us off. We are going to tie the anchor off. We're going to simply make some half hitches, just like that. Okay? And then to set it into place, we are going to twist it over itself and lock it in place like that. How you know it's locked is these two lines with each other. So let me do that one more time. All right, ready? 
half hitch, half hitch, half hitch, go ahead, and then twist the line. See that? Lock it in place. It's how to tie your line off to a cleat. So I'm telling Emily to tie us off, and what that's going to do is, as you can see, the boat's about to pivot just like that. We're going to start pivoting because the anchor is set. We're making a pivot, and we're, the boat is turning into the wind. This is the destination, 24 feet. We're waiting for the boat to stop as that boat made its pivot, waiting for the anchor to grab. Zero knots, 20 feet from our destination, our anchor held. So that is what we want. We are that we are 20 feet in front of our spot. Our baits are going to drift backwards. You can use the knots. If the knots say zero, that's how you know you're holding. Another way to know you're holding is knowing that you are with the wind or the current and your boat is lined up nice and straight. Sometimes it, sometimes you have to anchor side sea, but usually if your boat spins and turns side sea, that means your anchor slipped. Did that make sense? I think that made perfect sense, Amanda. Basically, all you're doing is you're anchoring, throwing your anchor in front of your spot and drifting back to it. And don't be hard on yourselves. It's okay if you're 60 feet in front of it or 20 feet in front of it. As long as you're in front of it because you want your baits and your chum to drift backwards. You just don't want to be past it, basically. As long yeah. as you're in you front. You can even be next to it. I mean, sometimes fishing next to your spot works too. The idea is to be in front of it, but if you end up next to it, go ahead, try fishing. It's not rocket science. As long as you're close to it, that's the idea, and that's what this video is supposed to help you. So we help with all that information. It was helpful. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Any thoughts? I'm not really sure. Anything else you want to see, let us know. We hope you like this video. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And please, please, please give it a like, guys, if you enjoyed it. And like and subscribe for more.